often I'm asked about how can we get more done? Because generally I'm working with professionals or entrepreneurs or business owners that are wearing a number of hats and they have a, only a certain amount of time and they feel like they have got loads and loads to do. So they're always looking at how they can be more effective and how they can be more efficient with their time. Because that's the one thing that we don't have more of. Now our old ideas about this is that actually the more effort we put in and the more time we spend with something, then the better the output. You know, so, you know, the, I, I remember when I was was a barrister and I was in practice and I, I mean I was one who would who would sit at their desk doing so much work, so much work. And and I would tell myself that if I finish this, if I just push through and get through it, I will feel better. And and you might um, that might resonate with you as well. That might be something that you do. Because that's what we do, isn't it? You know, we we think if we get something out of the way, we're going to feel better. Now, I recognised, even at that time, how tired I was and how, how I'd lost my effectiveness. You know, the quality of the work I was doing was still good, but it was taking me so much longer. So, you know, I would start fresh and I'd be working really effectively. And the more tired I got, because human beings get tired, the more tired I got, the less effective I became. Now, the less effective I became, the more uh, worried or stressed I become, I concerned that I wouldn't get my work done, feel the pressure of time, the pressure of a deadline, do more thinking. That then would fill my mind up even more. I'd become less effective. And over the course of several hours, my effectiveness had really gone downhill. It, 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 it had gone down considerably. So if that isn't like the most effective approach, then what is? Because often that seems like that's the only way we can do things. You know, we have to get work done. We have to get through it. We have to finish it. So if we can't do that, then how else can we do it? What, what's, what's the alternative? Well, one thing that I share with all of my clients is the, is the main part of the work that I do is about how we work as human beings, and in other words, our state of mind, you know, how we create really effective and more effective states of mind, and kind of what drives that, what, high, what lies behind that. Now, what I mean by that is that I noticed all those years ago, before I had this understanding, that when I was in a clear state of mind, when my mind was clear and I was refreshed and my mind was refreshed, the work I did was easy. There was an ease about it. It flowed. It, it didn't feel hard or difficult. Yes, there was a lot to do, but it all felt very manageable. As my state of mind dropped, I then became very, very aware of the thinking that I was doing. So, you know, I can look back now and know that my mind was full of, of pressure, of stress, of concern that I wasn't going to get my work done. I'd, I'd have thoughts about you know other people and their abilities I'd be doing a bit of imposter th syndrome thinking or maybe you know some comparative type thinking all kinds of it my mind was full and and my work became became harder it felt harder to me it felt more difficult less manageable it was the same work 
the only thing that had changed, the only variable that ever changed was my state of mind. That was the only variable that had changed. The impact of knowing that now means that myself and those who I work with now have more information about how to work more effectively. So by recognising that, oh, okay, I'm, I'm doing lots of really unhelpful thinking right now. Um, it feels really, it feels really real. <laughs> That's telling me about my state of mind. I'm now not effective. I'm now not effective. Noticing that enables us to, just the power of noticing it, enables that thinking to have less grip on us. It feels just slightly less intense, but that that space that it creates enables us to hear our common sense more. And often we know what we need to refresh our mind, right? So it may be go and get a cup of tea or go for a walk or take a, take a break of some sort, walk away, you know, leave what you are doing in order to refresh your mind. And that, that's how we work. And, and then so often when we come back to it and we're fresh, we feel very differently about it. Now, you may think, well, yeah, I know that, but how often do you listen to it and how often do you take that into account during your normal working day? So noticing like when we become less effective, say, oh, this is a state of mind issue. This isn't a state of work issue, which is often how we do interpret it. We go and do a lot of thinking about, oh, I can't do this. This is too hard. What was I thinking? Da, da, da. And we just we forget that earlier on we felt absolutely okay about everything. Yeah, so we we then get sucked into this belief that it's a, a, a state of work or a state of life issue and not a state of mind issue. And when we notice and see that this has got nothing to do with my outside world, this has got nothing to do with my work or my kids or my my ability or anything, right? The only thing it's telling me is my state of mind. Well, let's do something about that. Let's see what we can do. Because even if I, the kind of worst case scenario, well not worst case scenario, but a scenario that used to send horror down my spine, you know, it just like horrified me, was when I was tired, when my kids were really small, and even my husband would say, look, take a nap, have a nap. You'll feel so much better. That, that would just be the worst thing that I, I felt I could do in the middle of the day. However, now I think I can see the value in being refreshed in the afternoon. I can see the value in taking 20 minutes out or half an hour out until my state of mind is better. Because then I know I'm going to whiz through everything. And I know I get far more done in less time. So even though my mind up here is like, no, 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 you can't because you've got all this work to do. You can't possibly stop. You, you've got to carry on. You've got to carry on. Because that's like habitual thinking that, you know, years of being in, in that kind of corporate type environment. You know, but now I know that can't tell me anything. Now I know it's state of mind. And when I notice its state of mind, when my clients notice its state of mind, everything changes and it enables us to become far more efficient and effective.